Okay, today we're going to be talking about sheet sets and how to quickly create a plan profile sheet set and what that will do. It will configure our layouts so that we can see our alignment in our top viewport and that will be rotating as we move down the length of the alignment and on the bottom viewport it will show the corresponding stations for our profile. So the plan profile sheet production comes in two parts. The first part is creating the frames and the frames will lay out where on the alignment the viewports will be orientated. So I'm going to go into my uh, output tab in Civil 3D and I'm working in my Sandpoint data. Uh, I have an alignment generated. I have a corresponding profile created with a surface profile and a layout profile. So now I'm going to go into my output tab in Civil 3D and I'm going to select create view frames and in this wizard driven dialog box it's going to ask me a few questions first of all select your alignment pick your station range I'm going to go from beginning to end I'm going to select next and it's going to ask me what kind of sheet I want to create I can create a plan profile sheet a plan sheet or a profile only so I'm going to create a plan profile sheet and what that will do it will create my alignment along the top and the profile along the bottom the next thing I want to do is select a template so depending on the size of the uh, project or the scale of the project you want to choose a template accordingly and you can set these up any way you like uh, there's some predefined ones here based on scale so you can see I have a range of 1 to 500 to 1 to 5000 uh, and I'm going to start with a 1 to 1000 and that's just uh, referring to our horizontal scale. The vertical scale of the profile is determined in your profile view settings. So this is just the horizontal scale of my viewport. I'm going to pick 1 to 1000. I'm going to rotate the uh, viewports along the alignment so they'll look something like this. I'm going to select next and I'm going to choose a view frame group. I can go with the uh, default there or I can pick uh, a special name for instance Sandpoint and leave the counter at the end. Uh, the view frame uh, names you can leave the same if you want or change. The label location we could use uh, leave that the same or put it in the middle center or uh, top left. We can leave it as the default there. You can change that stuff at any time later. I'm going to click next and uh, in this dialog box it asks us some additional information about how to create those frames for instance I want to snap to the nearest whole meter when positioning those frames along if I want a little bit of a buffer size on each and uh, between each and every frame I can select a value there and that will give me a little additional room and that's good especially if you have uh, a large variation in terrain as far as the match lines, that's just how those frames are going to be laid out in plan view. This is all just aesthetics. You can change those up the way you want. Uh, or click the help to find out more about those. I'm going to click next and it's going to ask me for a profile view style. What style do I want to use? I'm going to pick the same style that I used for my profile that's currently being shown and that was major grids and the band set. So for my band set I'm just going to use the existing ground, finished ground, elevations and station and I'm going to select create view frames and what you'll see is that these frames have now been created they've been laid out these are going to represent the viewports of the layouts as for each and every sheet and that was it for creating view frames uh, please review the next uh, video which is creating the sheets thanks